What's up guys, hey and welcome back to another video. In this video we're going to look at adding videos or animations or something like that, a video file to a screen, to an object as a material in Twinmotion. It's very simple, but before I get into it, if at any point you happen to like this video or even learn something, demolish that like button, it really helps. Also consider subscribing, that does as well. So I'm in just a competition project that I did a long time ago, and I've placed this giant TV screen in this auditorium. And I want to add a video to this because, you know, I want to make this seem like people are actually there for a reason. They're looking at something, have a video playing, and it can be any video. It doesn't matter. But it's very simple. I Something that I want to show you, very simple. Come over here to materials, and I come all the way down to the bottom. You'll see videos, and there is, in fact, one video, and it is actually the trailer for Twin Motion 2020. And it literally is a material. And I'm just going to simply dump that onto the screen. And I mean, we're done. That's it. You know, you know, just that's it. That's, we're done. Look at that. But really, we are kind of done. There's not a lot else that we can do here. You know, we can set a delay if we want to wake this delay for five seconds. I mean, I, you know, if you want to do that, great. You know, I don't feel a reason to do that. But if you have a particular reason, great. Um, go into additional settings. There's a reflection. You know, you can really see the reflection actually update over here at the left. As I scroll this up and down, we can see the up, the reflection does update. That's nice. A lot of times you have a reflective TV screen, so that's my why you might want to do it. But if you want to go for more of the matte look, then put it down. I don't know. Obviously, the scale, if it doesn't quite fit the screen, obviously this works beautifully because it's a TV screen and it is a pretty normal aspect ratio, probably 16 by nine, just like the video likely is. So it just makes sense, so it fits. But if you put this on a cube, a random cube or something, obviously it may not fit like you'd want it to. Like if I put this on just a primitive box here, then it's likely that this would not, I mean, you can clearly see this doesn't quite work. Obviously it's playing all the same, but if I want it to fit, to this cube, then the scale needs to change and it's not going to actually fit the cube perfectly because the aspect ratio is not the exact same. So I could put this down here and we could see what happens. I get more tiling and, you know, I could start to see more of it on the cube and it fits more of the cube, but you know, it's, it's just messed up over there on the TV. So it does work all the same. And, you know, I could even put this on the floor if I want, you know, I could have this play giant screens. I could make walls screens. I can have this giant sized screen that's on the floor and make it work. You know, like, you know, not bad for what it is. Um, I don't necessarily want to do that because for obvious reasons, but nonetheless, that's it. It's not that hard. Now you want to throw a few variables in there. We can do that. So let's say that it's dark, you know, sun goes down and you want more of a night shot or something like that. Uh, once twin motion adjusts here, like, you know, this is, close obviously you'd have a little more light in here in general but you know we have the screen and it's a bit dark it's a bit dull but we have this glow option and i can start to adjust this but <laughs> as soon as i add glow to it it's just absurd so don't use the glow with normal percentages the percentage i found that works really great is 0. 0.000 and then really any number one two three four five whatever but if i put in 0. 0.0001 we could see that it looks like a lit up screen, which is actually kind of nice. So I might go 0.0003. I mean, I, you know, one looks great, but obviously you're going to have to play for the, with this because it's going to be purely based on your scene, your lighting, everything. It's going to have to be updated really for each situation. And that's fine. It's not hard to do, but just be aware that you're want, going to want very low values for the globe. And, you know, here, if you're stepping on the screen, obviously change the sound to something else or just turn it off. But, you know, it's that simple. Another way I found you can do this um, is it's a bit convoluted and I would never recommend doing this, but I just find it a bit interesting. But let's say I wanted to come over here and I'm just going to remove this material. Now I'm going to change it to something else, just the default white blank screen for now. And maybe I want this to be some other video. So I'll actually make a new material and call this video and apply that and that's fine. But I'm going to go over here and as my texture for my color, I'll open and I actually am going to go to just one of my, my one of the previous videos that I've done. And 
you'll notice here the images I have available, the file types. I, I of course, do not have a video file type available to me, of course. But I know that the file is located here. And so I'll just paste it, paste it there. It's called replace MP4. And I'll open that. And then there it is. Like, <laughs> it's that simple. Now, I will say, do I want to necessarily do it through this type of material versus a true video material. I don't know why you'd want to do this, but I just found it interesting that you could do this. You know, it was nice. You could, you know, you have basically the reason you might want to do this is if you want to go and have access to a real material. And by that, I mean, like maybe you have edited the video in a way where there's holes in it or something. I don't know. I mean, you could add grunge to it this way. <laughs> like, I, you know, if you have a grungy TV, maybe that makes sense. But you know, we have, you know, other options here. Of course, the scale works all the same. Reflection, essentially the same. It's harder to tell there, but it is working. You see in the preview there. Um, of course, the color changes if you want to add a tint, which I definitely don't. Um, but the glow is all the same. Again, I'd probably keep this very low, 0 0.001, if that, you know. Bump values don't really matter here. It's a screen. Um, metalness, I, again, doesn't really matter because it's the screen. So if you find that you want to add grunge, maybe if you want, to add, I don't know. I mean, if you want to use this, if you want to add tint to it, this is why you might use a real material. I don't think twin motion tutorials would naturally cover doing this because it's a bit of a workaround, but if you find, you might find that this is useful. So that's great. But if we wanted to actually do this a normal way using the video file, Again, what I'd probably do is come over to the video. I'd add that video there and, you know, probably duplicate this. I'd rename this to my video, maybe How about that. That's fine. And then I can just literally replace this video just like I would the texture. And, you know, it's all the same. I can, there it is. There's my replace and I'll open it and it, give it just a second to reload. Actually need to. And once I and once I apply this material, that's it. You know, I've got the same options that I had before, but now it's a, a true video file. And, I, you know, it works all the same. Really nice, really easy, not bad at all. I, very simple. I like it. So give it a try. Definitely, it livens up the scene, of course. Uh, so populate it, all your screens with video. I think it looks really nice. You could do the same thing with like animated people if you wanted to animate a person and, you know, put them out in the distance. But for what Twin Motion has as far as people and objects, like I could probably only see doing this if I wanted a particular fire to look a certain way or a particular waterfall to look a certain way or I don't know. But or I mainly just want a video on a screen. Makes sense. So interactive map like you name it could go on and on. But that'll do it for this video. If you did learn something, demolish that like button. It really helps. Also subscribe because that does too. I sure hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one.